Manikam reporting from iTex 2017 and I'm about to bring you the latest updates from the Junior Inventors segment namely the WYIE, AYIE and MYIE. Not only the first day of iTex but we've seen some fierce competition coming from these Junior Inventors. Now listen to what they have to say about their invention and how they intend to set their invention apart from the rest. So what inspired you? to invent something like this? Um, we saw on the news that, and websites too that there are lots and lots of people who are in um, a few countries which have lack of clean water to drink therefore causing in diseases so because we still want to live and everything we created this to um, filter our water and so we can drink um, easier yeah. We use heavy bags every day we have uh, suffering from a heavy bags issue so one day we think about, hey, why don't we use this weight watcher? I think it's like um, it's very useful and it's easy to bring to school, and it can also be calibrated based on the body weight. We want to invent for a better world. We want to invent for a better world. Good morning, panel judges, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Aiden Ong. I'm Fuge Sang. I'm Chen Xiang. I'm Jerome. We are from SJKC to Nanjelok, Selangor. Welcome to Innovation Today. Savvy and safe. A water distiller using solar energy to produce clean drinking water. So thirsty. Can't wait to drink a glass of water. Which one would you choose? The answer is obvious, isn't it? Of course not the chocolate milk, right? Ladies and gentlemen, availability of clean drinking water is a critical problem in many areas of the world. Our team has identified the following problem statements. Firstly, 663 million people have no access to clean drinking water. No water, how to survive? Secondly, unsafe water kills. Every minute, a child dies from diarrhea disease caused by contaminated water. Pity the baby. Thirdly, solar difficulties. In harsh environments where clean water is not easily accessible. Without water, the human race will die. Knowing the importance of clean drinking water to the health of human beings inspires us to experiment on innovation today. Savvy and safe. Savvy and safe is an innovation that's virtually no cost, yet able to save many lives by applying the basic principles <coughs> of the water cycle to produce clean drinking water. It evolved from the basic design here to a savvy and safe, which increases the rates of fresh water production. The main difference between the basic design and savvy and safe is the incorporation of four enhanced features, which are the water deflector, black cloth, black reservoir, <coughs> and heat reflector. Now, my handsome friend here, Tian Xiang, will further elaborate on the build-up of the savvy and safe. Thank you, Aiden. Ladies and gentlemen, let us show you how easy it is to build savvy and safe. We need here two water bottles of different sizes, a 5,000ml bottle of acid condenser and a 350ml bottle of acid collector, a black container as the reservoir, a bamboo stick as the refill inlet, a piece of black cloth, <coughs> A piece of plastic as a water deflector and some effective materials as heat reflector. Firstly, cut the base of the 5000 ml bottle. <coughs> then make a hole in the base and fix the bamboo in it. This piece is the condenser plate and this is the condenser jar. Now when all supplies are ready, assemble the pieces accordingly. First, put the reservoir in the condenser jar. Next, assemble the black cloth and the water deflector onto the bamboo stick. Next. Place the condenser plate on top. After that, assemble the heat reflectors and lastly, screw on the collector button. This is the amazing Savvy and Safe. Ladies and gentlemen, my cutie friend here, Jerome, will now explain to you how Savvy and Safe works. Ladies and gentlemen, let our team bring you through how Savvy and Safe works. First, pour some water from IT sources through the refill inlet. The water will flow into the reservoir. Then, Pour some cold water on the condensation blade to promote condensation. We can then place it under direct sunlight to start the distillation process. <coughs> we don't have sunlight here in the hall. Therefore, we use spots light to replace the effect of the sun. 
The water in the reservoir will evaporate due to heat from the sun or in this case the spotlight. The water vapor will cool down and condense on the walls of the condenser. It will slowly drip to the collector at the bottom. The collector and bottle can be easily unscrewed from the condenser and the new collector can be screwed on. That's really safe and safe, we'll keep on working to collect water. Ladies and gentlemen, my martial friend Gisa will further elaborate and conclude all the advantages of CV and safe. Ladies and gentlemen, through our experiment, we noted that the basic design produces an average water collection rate of 8.03 ml per hour. With the CV and safe, the average water collection rate has increased to 18.42 ml per hour. This signifies an amazing improvement of 139% as compared to the basic design. Yay! Lots of clean water! High five! This is all done using only solar energy, improvised recyclable materials and a little playing around with science. And again, no money is involved. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefits of this invention are it produces fresh clean water and it is cheap, easy, operable and simple to build. It is also light and easy to carry, especially when we are lost in the jungle or stranded on an island. As a conclusion, why save it and save? Because creating access to safe drinking water is the most, most powerful, powerful way to improve the world. Remember that, no water, no humans. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to announce that Saving and Safe is a winner of the Silver Medal Award, Hong Kong Special Award and Thailand OBEC Special Award in the Hong Kong International Student Innovative Invention Contest 2016. We are also the Silver Medal winner in the IIID Johor 2017. Thank you!